Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would talk through some of the things that I've been loving recently across uh, fashion, lifestyle, beauty, entertainment kind of things, and also a few baby bits at the very end for those of you who are expecting or who are also new mums. Uh, I also just want to preface this by saying that I hope that everyone is keeping safe uh, and staying healthy. I've mentioned this in a few of my other videos, but yeah, um, what's happening in the world right now is obviously really scary. Scary. and I just want to continue to try and keep some sense of normality with my channel so I hope that this is a welcome escape for you uh, if you have been finding it really overwhelming or you've been getting a lot of anxiety from reading the news like I personally have. So I'm going to dive straight into it. I'm going to start with the fashion pieces just because uh, there's a few items that I'm super excited about and that I just want to wear on repeat. The first being this Isabelle Morant Etoile skirt. Now I personally really love these styles of skirts. I think they are super flattering with the tulip hemline. I will do a cutaway so that you can see how this looks on me. I really took a gamble with it because I purchased it before the baby arrived, uh, but I went with my usual size pre-pregnancy, which is a French 36, which is the equivalent of an AU8 or a US4, and it fits me really nicely. I love the cotton drill fabric. It's really substantial and thick. It's going to be great as a piece to wear throughout autumn, winter, just worn with some tights. And I've been wearing this with like this little tank that I'm wearing right now, with t-shirts, with knitwear. Uh, so super excited about continuing to wear this one throughout autumn, winter. Uh, and yeah, it's been one of my favorite purchases that I have made in the last few months. The next item I want to mention are a pair of shoes and when these launched I got so many DMs about them asking if I was going to get them. They are the 40 hour flats from Everlane and these are what they look like. They're just a very basic pointed toe flat and I have done a full review of these so I will leave that linked in the description box in case you want to see some more pics and you'd like me that you know you'd like to read a little bit more about them but I found these super comfortable they have been one of my most reached for shoe over the past few weeks I really love the fact that they've got a squared off toe so I find that pointy toe shoes quite often because they do have that quite sharp point they end up getting scuffed up and they can look a little bit uh, worn very quickly. Because these have that squared off toe, they aren't going to be impacted quite so much and I have found that mine haven't scuffed at all, so really been happy with how they've worn. As you can see, there is some creasing across the vamp, which is normal with shoes, you get that with everything, uh, but I really love the feel of the leather. It is so lightweight and really soft and I didn't get any blisters with these at all. I did get some blisters on the heel with the nude pair, but the black ones have been fine. I ended up sizing up a half size for these because I tried the US 9.5 which is my usual Everlane shoe size. Keep in mind I have wide feet and they were just a little bit too snug for me so went up half a size much better uh, and these have been really really comfortable so very pleased to have added these ones into my closet and being such a classic style I know that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them even in the months to come and they look really great with skinny jeans as well. Oh and I forgot to mention these were gifted to me as part of my ongoing partnership with Everlane for full transparency. This next item was also gifted to me as part of a partnership that I did while I was pregnant with a maternity brand called Lego Heritage and it's an Australian brand. I was so excited when they reached out to me because I had actually purchased a skirt from them and it was really great to be able to work with a brand that um, I already was really interested in and I liked that all of the items could be worn both while you're pregnant and also post pregnancy and you don't even need to be pregnant at all to be able to wear these items which is amazing. So the uh, item in question is a pair of of sweatpants or joggers and this is what they look like they have a little cuff at the hem which I find really flattering they kind of cinch in at your ankles but oh my gosh I wore these so much I actually didn't own any sweatpants and I've totally come around now loungewear yes it's definitely my friend especially with having a newborn not having a lot of sleep I want to be in something that is really comfortable all the time and these have been fantastic I find them really flattering as well um, and yeah I mean I can't believe that these fit me while I was you know full term and then they fit me now still uh, I got them in a size 1 which I think or a zero it, it, whatever it is it's the equivalent of an AU8 so um, I'll maybe leave the actual size that I got in the description box because I can't find it 
on the pants but yeah they're super stretchy they've worn really well I haven't got any pilling on them they're a cotton elastane mix um probably the only thing that's worn is the tie actually it's looking a little bit tatty but aside from that they're in absolute perfect condition and yeah they've been just such a comfortable addition to my wardrobe and then the final fashion item isn't really a fashion item, it's actually sleepwear, but I wanted to mention it anyway. Uh, so I bought these from Country Road and I got them just because I kind of wanted to get some nice sleepwear or something that would be comfortable uh, but look cute as well um, for post-pregnancy. And I ended up getting this little set. So it's a polka dot set. Would you have expected anything else from me? Uh, it's got this little navy and I would say it's almost like an ecru grey color spots so that's the top and then these are the shorts I got them in a size small I would probably normally be an extra small uh, but these fit me really comfortably the elastic band really comfortable too I wore these while we were in hospital and I was so grateful for them they just made me feel really good uh, and the fact that it's a cami style top means it's really easy to nurse in as well in the middle of the night so I've been really happy with them I think these are 100% cotton as well so very comfortable and very breathable for yeah they are very comfortable and very breathable for the hot weather that we have here in Sydney Sorry about the lighting by the way, it's quite a cloudy day and I'm trying to manage it as the light sort of shifts in and out. Now the next thing I wanted to talk about were two beauty favourites. I actually have really paired everything back. I'm not wearing makeup that frequently, only when I just want to kind of, I don't know, feel a little bit more dressed up because most days I'm going without makeup, so today is an example. Um, and also skincare, um, I'm not doing... Sorry, you might be able to hear the baby in the background. Um, I'm not doing my full skincare routine at the moment just because I'm so tired or I forget or, you know, there's just a number of reasons. But I've got two products here which I have been loving having uh, in my routine when I am remembering to do those things or I am putting on makeup. So I want to talk about the makeup thing first. It is from Clinique and it's their Even Better Refresh Hydrating and Repairing Makeup. There's a foundation and I adore this. This has been my go-to foundation whenever I wanted to put something on my face. I really love the way that it looks. I have the shade WN44T which admittedly is probably a little bit too dark for me just because I've barely seen any sun in months but um, it's what I've got on my face today. What I like about it is that it gives me coverage but I still feel like my skin looks like skin so it doesn't look cakey on my complexion, uh, it just looks very flawless and natural, covers up any redness, helps to conceal the dark circles under my eyes just a little bit, I still need concealer though, but uh, <laughs> it's been a really wonderful addition to my makeup stash and uh, yeah, one that I highly recommend. Uh, it is more of a matte finish, so not really dewy. If you want to have more of a dewy base, I would recommend using a super hydrating primer and then also finishing off with some kind of a mist, something like that, to really add that moisture back into your complexion or maybe even mixing this in with a moisturizer. The other beauty favorite that I've got is from Tarte and this is a repurchase. It's the Rainforest of the Sea Deep Sea Collagen Super Serum. I can't even tell you how much I love this product. When I ran out of it, I needed to have it back in my life immediately. It's a biphase product, so you might be able to see it's got kind of an oil and then a water-like texture. You shake it up and then you put a few drops on your face. And this is just so hydrating. It feels absolutely wonderful on my complexion. It just feels very nourishing, like my skin is getting a huge hit of hydration and a moisture boost which I desperately need at the moment. I found that my skin has been really dry recently so this has been a bit of a saviour now that I've got it back in my routine. Now next I want to talk about two books that I have been listening to. So I mentioned this in a previous video but for my birthday Luke got me an audi Audible subscription which I was so so thankful for because as you know I was sort of 
uh, tossing up what I did um, for after the baby arrived in terms of being able to continue reading as I really wanted to be able to read at least one book per month. I love reading so <laughs> something that was a bit important to me. Um, so there are two books that uh, really have stood out to me recently. The first one is American Kingpin and this book is amazing. If you like the series Breaking Bad then you will love this and it's all it's a true story. So it's all about the Silk Road, which if you aren't familiar with it, it is basically a marketplace on the dark web. It's been shut down now, but there are similar websites on the dark web now that do the same thing, where initially you could buy um, narcotics and eventually it led into all of these other black market goods. And uh, yeah, it's just the most insane, crazy story. Uh, really, really amazing. My old account manager actually was the one who recommended it and I'm so glad she did because it was just one of those books that I wanted to continue listening to. Uh, so really amazing. The other one is actually a recommendation that she gave as well uh, and it's called Ride of a Lifetime and it's all about um, Bob Iger who is the CEO of Disney and a lot about his journey towards getting that role and his values as well as a leader which I have found really interesting and Honestly, he's got so much integrity. I think the prologue was what really drew me in just hearing uh, from him personally. So that's another one that I would recommend. Then I wanted to talk about two series that we have been watching. So the first one, Tiger King. If you have not watched this on Netflix, you need to. This is the craziest documentary series that I have seen in a long time. Uh, I don't really want to ruin it for you guys, but yeah, definitely recommend getting into that one. The other one that we watched was on Foxtel and it's The Stranger. And this is based on a Stephen King novel. I always find that Stephen King adaptations are really brilliant. I was really excited to watch that and I absolutely loved it. it really captivated me from the start to the finish. And I remember like, as we were watching the episodes, just wanting the next one to be available straight away. And actually we've also been watching Devs, which I really like, but again, it's that uh, appointment television. So we're kind of waiting every week to get the new episode. And we're also into Westworld season three now. So uh, yeah, that's kind of a couple of the other shows that we're watching. Oh, and Ozark season three too. Uh, then I just have a couple of baby bits that I wanted to mention for those of you who are expecting or who are new mums like me. Uh, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about was some baby clothes. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, I have been kind of sharing the odd bit that has arrived. And um, in terms of a brand that I really like, um, these are from a different one, but uh, Nature Baby is a New Zealand brand and their stuff is gorgeous. I love their swaddles. They are just beautiful. Um, but in terms of other clothing brands, I wanted to kind of give a shout out to Bowden. So they kind of sent me some items as a present because as you know, um, I kind of uh, collaborate with them every single month. Uh, and I am just so impressed with the quality. I feel like it is among the nicest out of the stuff that I've tried. Um, I did in my Black Friday, like what I bought from the Black Friday sales video, talk about how I purchased a bunch of onesies from Marks and Spencer. And while these have been great, I do find that the sizing of them is really odd. So the newborn ones, our boys already grown out of really quickly, despite not really properly fitting into the zero to three month onesies yet. So I don't know. I probably wouldn't buy those ones again. <laughs> probably just spend a little bit more money to get some that uh, fit better. But uh, yeah, I really love the little Bowdoin onesies, they are such lovely stretch cotton, uh, really comfortable, a nice weight as well. So I've got quite a few of them. I've got this really beautiful yellow striped one. Uh, and then I've got this one here's a newborn one. It's just a little pointel white onesie. Uh, hasn't been hard keeping these clean actually, which is a relief. <laughs> the other things that I wanted to mention have to relate to nap time. Um, now, I found that, especially at night time, just before I want to go to sleep, that um, our son, he gets a little bit fussy and is a little bit harder to put down. Uh, he just really wants to be cuddled. And I understand that that is just something that newborns love. And um, what we found really helpful in terms of actually getting him to go to sleep in his bassinet is to put a wheat pack, this one is one that my yaya made me a million years ago, <laughs> in the microwave for a couple of minutes and then have that sort of resting 
in the bassinet for I don't know five ten minutes before we put him down then we remove it make sure that it's not too hot and then once he's sort of dozed off we'll put him in the bassinet and it kind of mimics the warmth from him cuddling us and I've found that that has been key to getting him to actually stay asleep in his bassinet uh, you know at about 11 o'clock at night so that has been working wonders so Definitely something worth trying if you're in the same situation. The other thing uh, is something that I bought that I remember at the time thinking, will this be useful? And it has been. It's a Snuggle Me Organic. So basically, it is this huge, funny kind of pillow thing which has a dip in the center. So it sort of cocoons itself around the baby and I found that he really, really likes this. He likes to sit in this during the day, feels very comfortable in it because he's sort of cocooned in the center here. So uh, this has been brilliant and the great thing is, is that this actually has a few different purposes. So you can use it to cocoon the baby when they're a newborn, then you can use it for tummy time so that they can get, um, you know, build up that neck strength and arm strength. And then when they're sitting, uh, because it is sort of a cushion, you can actually sit them in it to help them sit up. So really like this. There are tons of brands that do stuff like this. So I don't know if there are alternatives which are more affordable than one that I purchased, but I will kind of try and link some of the different options down in the description box below. Maybe there are different price points if that is helpful and you're looking for something like this. So those are all the things that I have been loving recently. Um, obviously, of course, just being at home and being within that newborn bubble and Luke's working from home as well so it's kind of nice to have him around a lot more um, but yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I'd love to know what your favorites have been recently and like I said at the start I hope that you've all been keeping well staying safe keeping healthy I'm thinking of you all and you know if you are on the front lines if you're a healthcare worker thank you so much for everything that you are doing I can only imagine what that must be like so yeah I just want to say thank you so much for your service it you know I'm myself I'm so grateful for those who are sort of helping to fight this fight so yeah that is it from me today um I will see you guys again very soon I'm sure with another video thanks for watching bye